Today's video is going to be a test of the DGX Spark, of course, being that my previous video on this did do very well comparatively to the other videos on my channel. But beyond that, I want to go ahead and do a test with this that kind of allows folks to get a feel of how it performs in a interesting task. So basically what we see on the screen right here is something called Instabot that was vibe coded with Claude in almost one shot, which is impressive in and of itself. But what is going on right here is the DGX Spark is handling everything here to emulate an AI generated Instagram. It is using stable diffusion to generate the photos. It is using Olama with an uncensored Quen model to actually generate personas, prompts for photos, responses in the kind of style of any of these personas, and truthfully, it is perhaps quite funny to watch. So I do have this streaming right now, and it is going on Twitch. I wanted to just put it up as a website that folks could go to, but I didn't want to get hacked, and I'm too tired to kind of try to competently set something like that up. So it is on Twitch right now, and it's just screen recording, so you will see this happen in real time live. And the whole point of this is one, entertainment, because it's a chill Friday, but two, it will give us a metric of how well this device can actually handle prolonged and sustained load in something that is going to relatively flex its muscles. So this will highlight one of the positives of this device, which is the fact that right now it is doing all of this. It's running Stable Diffusion. It's running Olama to actually use an LLM at not the same time, but in relatively similar time um, slices. And basically it's using relatively little power comparatively to anything else that would actually be able to run this. So it's just a cool and fun little demonstration. And in the actual stream for this, <laughs> It's a weird photo. I do have the NV top statistics up as well, so folks can see in real time how the temperature is doing, how much power it's drawing, and I plan to leave this running for 10, 12 hours. I'm not sure if there's a cap on a Twitch stream or not, but I'll restart it if that's the case, because it's more fun this way to actually, so we can all play with it instead of just like watching someone play with it on screen. So with that, I'm just going to throw this video in where it started, and Basically, the link to this will be in a pinned comment or the description or on my Discord or something like that. So, let's get right into it. Oh, I didn't see you there. No, I'm kidding. Imagine if I... All right. So, I have been spending the duration of this evening, which has been a while for me, to go ahead and try to find a way to further kind of make content on this DGX Spark, being that it did pull fat stacks view-wise relative to some of the other videos that I post on the channel. Now, I've been playing with it overnight on and off, and I haven't done too much. I've run through some of the playbooks and things like that, and really, aside from apparently a bug that was released that caused all of these new devices that were being updated to just get bricked, um, <laughs> It has been really quite solid. So I will say first impressions and having had this for a day or so now, it's really quite good looking. I do find myself staring at it throughout the day, which is, you know, I'm staring at it right now. It really is extremely good looking and it feels quite well built. However, I was trying to think of something I could do with it to actually highlight some of its strengths, which are of course the low power usage, the ability to run multiple things at the same time in terms of like AI and machine learning related things and something creative. So I have concocted an idea here that truthfully, Claude Opus 4.1 basically one shotted this entire idea so I do have to give props to Claude for that essentially this is an Instagram replica so <laughs> it's right here it's not running currently but it will be soon essentially what happens is it uses the actual comfy UI toolbox here that Nvidia had put in these playbooks and it uses a bunch of little different agents with personas just using Olama to actually go ahead and make a fake Instagram kind of emulation and the images get generated through the comfy UI so it's just using stable diffusion and something I found here is that watching it is actually quite funny at times because <laughs> there was one persona that's like a person who takes static portraits of people and if we scroll down here okay first and foremost like tech aesthetic so get ready to upgrade and all the pictures are coming out like extremely jank and mangled <laughs> because the image generation checkpoint that's being used here is not necessarily the most powerful or high quality one. I haven't really bought <laughs> so like retro vibes, vintage vibes, and it generates photos of people and things like that. But the whole point of this and why <laughs> I want to showcase this is because it highlights something that's kind of cool about this device or even this um, 
the Strix Halo, the small low power unified memory devices, is they can run and do tasks like this for pretty much like infinite time, at least barring they don't like break and things of that sort. So I apologize, I've probably rambled on too much, but essentially what I've gone ahead and done here in the code is added some, uh, I suppose, wildcard personas here. And in addition to that, I swapped it to use an Olama model for the uncensored Quen 2.57B. So basically it will use these personas to kind of prompt stable diffusion, and then it will go ahead and <laughs> generate comments from them as well. So really the only thing I actually need to do here is remember what the name of this script that Claude had made was. So now it is going to basically go ahead and start this whole Instagram emulation thing again. Now keep in mind, well, I shouldn't say keep in mind because you didn't see it with the Llama 3.21B model, but this will be a little slower to generate because it's using the uncensored Quen to actually generate a prompt to send to stable diffusion running on this machine. And then in addition to that, it is actually using it to go ahead and generate responses from some of these fake personas. Neckbeard comment, the mist seems to give everything an enigmatic touch like nature's own gentle veil. So it's going ahead and just making a fake social media network. And this does kind of make me a little fearful for the ability of these unified boxes to basically just produce slop at high rates of speed constantly and in like 24 seven, but we can, I mean, <laughs> okay. So it generated in Chinese here, which I suppose is good. And then if we actually go ahead and just kind of try to monitor some of the statistics here, cause this is almost more like a, I don't want to say a production load test, but this is something that could ideally run for very long periods of time at sustained load, and it seems to do all right. I don't know specifically, I mean, we can kind of see how much memory is being used here, and this could probably all run on a single GPU, but not using this low amount of power. So credit where it's due. Oh my God, those are terrifying. So morning cozy vibes, and and. I just find it very entertaining to sit and watch this. It is almost akin to like a modern um, screensaver or something. So I suppose maybe I'll just kind of I'm gonna full screen this for now. Actually, no, because folks will want to know about like performance metrics and things like that. So we'll keep the NV top window open here at least so we can keep an eye on um, temperature and utilization. And I'll minimize this. And I am will say this is much slower than it was with the Llama 3.21B, but the downside of that is it may not actually generate funny things, and I do have it very tame right now. So we've swapped in a much smaller version of Quen 2.5 Uncensored, as well as just made a slight modification to how these um, people actually post prompts, so just said post opinionated prompts instead, and then I'm asking it for, well, I'm just having Claude rewrite these actual personas here, which are obviously very modifiable, so we can go ahead and now essentially replace the block of boring individuals with the block of entertaining individuals and make sure that we don't mess up the formatting. So, all right, we should now be able to... Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> My go-to spot, let's see if it's done anything. <laughs> Vintage footage, I love, I like the retro vibes one because it tries to make like retro looking. <laughs> photos but they if you at first glance you're like oh and then the more you look the worse it gets but oh, oh good god all right yeah so that's one of the more appetizing looking results i've seen here in terms of a food image generation i should boost the uh image gen model too i'll do that so I'm trying this now with a way better image generation model, and I've just gone back to the 7 billion parameter variant of the uncensored Quen 2.5 family. Now, this is going to be much slower because it's a better image generation model as well as a larger LLM. However, this should produce better results, and we can see just off the first thing I notice here, this is drawing more power, and the actual time that the GPUs or the systems under higher load is sustained longer than previously, but hopefully this does one work and two make for some better or more entertaining results. Ooh, okay, yeah, that is significantly better. And all of the personas have been set to be more argumentative. Okay, so that is one of the problems, especially here of one lackluster prompting and two smaller models is um, they're very kind of dumb but the images are significantly better so far. So this could get interesting. And again, I have to keep this video um, family friendly 
it could very easily be a version of Instagram that is not and would be perhaps entertaining to watch <laughs> Emacs or GTFO. Ten percent body fat is a lazy man's Becky Fitness. Cardio kills gains. <laughs> All right, so that's going to conclude what's probably a quicker video, but I wanted to do one specific use case for this that would really kind of put it to the test. So basically this is going to be running for a while now and we'll see how it does, assuming it will probably perform fine. Um, some of the things that get generated here may be eccentric or funny depending on one's sense of humor. So with that, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and thanks for watching.